Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I did a red cherry smoky eye look since you know, I told you guys fall is my favorite season. I cannot get enough of fall. I created a smoky red cherry look with a little bit of like green glitter eyeshadow. But if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So I'm going to go into the Almar Cosmetics palette. I actually got this like a couple months ago in my BoxyCharm. And I actually never really used it. This is what it looks like inside. So it has eight intensely pigmented shades. I'm going to do like a dark red cherry smoked out look. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Coco Taxi and I'm going to start putting that into my crease. I've already put some concealer on my eye so just make sure you do not forget that step. take Guantanamera. It is this cherry red color and I'm going to start putting that into my crease as well. I don't know if anyone has like that one side of their face where like when you do makeup it like applies so much better. That is the right side of my face. Literally the right side of my face, my eyebrow is so much easier to do, my eyeshadow, like everything is so much easier on the right side of my face and then I get to the left side and I'm just like the right side is like my go-to I swear like it's so much easier I guess maybe because I'm right-handed and that plays a part in it but that left side is no joke like I always have to go in back to the left side like I'm about to do right now and fix it up a little bit where the right side like doesn't really match with the left so now I'm gonna go into my eyes and just cut the crease because I'm gonna do like a sparkly green on top of this gonna get a small flat brush and this is what I'm gonna use to cut the crease with and I just kind of like play with the hairs a little bit just to get it you know not so stiff Going back into my palette, I'm going to be taking El Malacón right here. Such a pretty like green, silver, like sparkly color. So that's going to go perfect in the center of the eye. So I'm going back in with that red and I'm just darkening it up a little bit. So I'm going to take Cafecito right here and I'm going to start blending it into that green sparkly shadow just to smoke it out a little bit more.
I'm gonna go into my favorite lashes and these are the Ritz Republic lashes. These are the style seductive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these on and I'll be right back. Next, I'm gonna go into my Peter Thomas Roth primer. I use this in almost every video. This is like one of my favorite primers. It's really been working for me a lot since I am like so oily. It's really like mattifying. Now I'm gonna go into my Revlon foundation. This is the color 180 in Saint Beige. Next is a Maybelline concealer. This is also the color sand. So now I'm just going to go into my Hula Bronzer. I'm going to start bronzing the face. I'm going to grab the Model Co. Blush, and this is in the color Peach Bellini. I love blush. Like, I don't know how people, like, can go without putting blush on. Like, I can't go without having blush on my face. It just gives you more color. It just, it's ugh, so pretty. Like, I love blush. So cleaning up your jawline is such an important step. And a lot of people skip this step, which you shouldn't, because when you're applying the bronzer and the blush and you're doing it in circular motion, sometimes the line isn't going to be so straight. So doing the powder um, after you completed the bronze and the blush is really going to help straighten it out. Um, and it'll define the jaw more. So you'll see where the bronzer and the blush ends and then like where your foundation is. You don't want everything to like go together and it just be rough and no. You want it really clean. You want a clean line to differentiate the blush and the bronzer between the rest of the face. I'm gonna go into Kat Von D palette. Be picking up Levitation and start putting this under our eye area. So this is also gonna differentiate the bronzer and the blush as well. So it'll pretty much put like everything in its place and it'll look so much better. So for highlighter, I'm going to go into the Amarisi Times Anastasia and just start doing the favorite part of the whole look. Just blinding and shining, baby. Blinding and shining. <laughs>
I'm going to go in back to the palette. I'm going to pick up this cherry color and start placing this underneath the eye. I'm going to be grabbing the I Love Sarai Times ColourPop Lip Pencil. This is the color Curvy. Next, I'm going to grab the Milani Lipstick. This is the color 60 in Matte Innocence. Last but not least, I'm going to go into the Too Faced Lip Injection. This is their Glossy Lip Injection. This thing, when you put it on, I'm not going to lie, it kind of hurts. It's like really your lips tingle and it's just, it does kind of plump them up and it is such a pretty like nude lip gloss. So we're going to go into this bad boy. So we're just going to go into the Iconic Linen Prep Set and Glow, and we're going to set the face. And that does complete the look for today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my dark cherry fall look. I love this look. It came out so good. It's really dark and smoky, but there's still like a lot of light, a lot of greens that I threw out there. Looking at it now, it kind of reminds me of Christmas. So you guys know I'm so ready for the holidays. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.